They call Pitbull Mr. Worldwide for a reason. He's living up to that name today. Him and Justin Marks, their track house racing team, is opening up a third car with a driver lineup yet to be announced. And it's not going to be a young NASCAR driver. It's not going to be someone from another team that they're bringing in a veteran. It's going to be an international star or stars. They do not know who yet, but it's called Project 91. Justin Marks and Pitbull, of course, own Trackhouse Racing. And it's been quite a successful venture for the two of them. Of course, they started the team last year with Daniel Suarez in the car. And this year, they added a second car after buying Chip Ganassi Racing, a longtime NASCAR Cup Series team. And they have been very successful this year. Daniel Suarez has been up front in the top five at times. He's led some laps this year. I think he's won a stage or two. Ross Chastain, he is tied for the most wins in the Cup Series right now with two wins, at one at Talladega, one at Circuit of the Americas. He has led laps almost everywhere. Las Vegas, uh, Talladega Coda, obviously. Um, I mean, it seems like everywhere we go, he has led laps, been in the top five, the top three, Dover. I mean, you name the track, he has led there. He has been up front. So, track house racing, one of the newest teams in the Cup Series, and they have quickly become one of the front runners. Well, they are about to become the, potentially, one of the international teams of the NASCAR Cup Series. So, of course, one of their drivers, Daniel Suarez, is from Monterey, Mexico, um, so, you know, and then, yeah, so they got one international driver already, but the question is, who could that other driver be? Let's look at some of the details, and then we will discuss who some of those drivers could be. We'll theorize and completely guess, because, like, I just like to have fun with it. Trackhouse announces it will field a third cup car, number 91, in at least one cup race for an international driver. No driver or race announced yet. Teams say driver and race to be announced in the coming days. Idea is to expand international reach. Justin Mark said Trackhouse has opened the door for global champions while beginning the process of scaling into an internationally recognized racing brand. So today is the announce. They announced that they're launching Project 91. Going to have uh, a few international stars. Come a few times a year starting this year and they made a little video thing and they said for the greatest drivers in the world from all disciplines. So uh, yeah, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be pretty epic. We've talked about here on this channel before about NASCAR and the international reach. You know, obviously NASCAR, all the races are in the United States of America. The majority of the drivers are from the United States of America. I mean, heck, the only non-US drivers, Daniel Suarez from Mexico, and uh, that might be it for full-time drivers. If I'm missing someone, I'm very sorry to whoever I'm missing. Um, but yeah, basically we have talked about this before. One of the biggest examples being actually a team that's only run two races this year, Team Hesemans, who's had a couple of international drivers and they have international owners, um, Dutch owners and the driver, he was Dutch. And then of course, uh, Formula One world champion, Indy 500 champion, Jack Villeneuve jumped in the car for the Daytona 500. He's Canadian. Uh, so, you know, there have been some international stars there. Uh, and we've talked about the reach internationally. You know, NASCAR, obviously, as I said, focus in the U.S. Everyone's in the U.S. So the majority of the fans are in the U.S. But there are fans outside of the United States of America, whether it's people in North America, South America, or even Europe, Asia, Australia, anywhere else in the world, Africa, wherever it may be. And, you know, there's what, 8 billion people on this planet. So that's 8 billion potential fans. Obviously, not everyone's going to be a NASCAR fan. But, you know, you do want to get as many fans as possible, as many fans or people on your side to watch your races. And I think NASCAR is in a good place right now. The next-gen car has been really good so far this year. The intermediates have been shockingly amazing, considering the last few years have been lackluster on the intermediate so the racing product itself is really good right now ratings are pretty good right now and so you know if you want to get some more ratings you know get some more eyeballs on you why not go for some more international viewers um you know we've talked about it as i said on here about getting international viewers getting that international eyeball and it could potentially open doors for drivers for potentially other places to go 
Uh, what if they did a race in Canada? What if they did a race in Mexico? If they were going to go international, you would probably want to start there in terms of the tracks, going racing somewhere. Uh, I think that would be a really fun idea. But as for the drivers themselves, um, yeah, I think it'd be really cool. You know, another primarily American racing series is IndyCar, and they have a good amount of international drivers. Scott Dixon's from New Zealand. Um, Alex Palou is from Spain, I believe. Uh, Tony Kanan from Brazil. Uh... I mean, I'm just trying to think of some of the IndyCar drivers off the top of my head. There's like, there's a good chunk of American drivers, but there are a lot of international driver. Uh, Elio, Helio, Helio, how do you pronounce his name? Castro Neves, he's from Brazil as well. So, you know, you got a good amount of international drivers in there. Uh, you know, they also come from open wheel background and, you know, Formula One, big open wheel uh, international. That's like kind of the big one, I guess, you know, some of them have been in that, like Alexander Rossi. Uh, Takuma Sato, he was in there for a bit, but, you know, that's just, you know, an example. And then, you know, what if they wanted to do it? We see Jimmy Johnson going from NASCAR to IndyCar after his NASCAR Cup Series career. In fact, he's competing in the Indy 500 this week, and the biggest, biggest weekend of motorsports coming up. we got Monaco in the morning, Indy 500 in the late morning slash early afternoon, and then we got the Cup Series Coke 600 at night. It's going to be a fun Sunday. Anyways, uh, what? so as for drivers, let's talk about some of the potential drivers. What if an IndyCar driver wanted to step in there, you know? What if a Scott Dixon wanted to get in a Cup Series car? Um, you know, what if someone like, uh, you know, what if you wanted to do a young American talent or young talent in IndyCar like Colton Herta? Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of potential IndyCar drivers that could do it. Heck, I hear that Jimmy Johnson guy's good, but uh, for real though, IndyCar drivers, I think there's a lot of options there. Obviously, they have been really close to NASCAR being in the United States, being around NASCAR, NASCAR being the biggest motorsport in the country. They are well aware of it. And in fact, they race at some of the same racetracks as NASCAR Indianapolis, Texas Motor Speedway. They used to race at Pocono. Um, they used to race at some other mile and a half, I think like Kentucky, Chicago. Obviously, those aren't on the NASCAR schedule anymore, but... Uh, you know, they used to race at the same places. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of potential there, especially like if they know the tracks, like a longtime veteran like a Scott Dixon, uh, you know, could potentially, I don't know if any of them are interested in NASCAR or if expressed interest in NASCAR or racing a NASCAR stock car. But um, yeah, I think IndyCar drivers for sure, uh, if they would be open to it, I would love to see any of them jump in a Cup Series car. I mean, honestly, anyone from anywhere. I think it would be cool to step out of their comfort zone, to go to a car that they haven't driven before, to go to a type of car they maybe haven't driven before. Um, then, you know, you got endurance driving, you got the 24-hour Le Mans, 24-hour Daytona, some of those drivers, maybe they could get in there. I don't know much about them, don't know many of those drivers. I think, oh, what's his name? Taylor. Uh, is it like Jordan Taylor, I think is his name? Um... Maybe that's a team owner. I, I don't know. But anyways, some of those drivers could come over. Some people who do kind of both. You know, Juan Pablo Montoya, he hasn't been full-time or anything, but I know I've seen him doing some of both. He's going to compete in the Indy 500 this upcoming weekend. I know he's done some endurance racing. Could he come back to NASCAR maybe uh, for a one-off race? You know, he was always really good at the road courses in the Cup Series. Could he come back at Watkins Glen on August 21st? That would be something, huh? And Trackhouse... Trackhouse is no slouch of a team, you know, as I said, two wins on the season with the other car on the bubble for the playoffs right now and has shown winning speed. You know, this isn't going to be like a run 30th in terms of speed. So, uh, you know, you get a really good driver in there, someone who, you know, gels well, with, if they end up gelling well with the car, this could be a competitive car, top 10, top five, and heck, race win. I don't know. It depends on how they go. But uh, yeah, Juan Pablo Montoya, could he do it? Uh, endurance drivers, uh, out two wheel <laughs> motor, you know, Moto GP. I don't know much about that. I know they're, you know, greatest cyclist, driver, pilot, whatever it's called. Uh, Valentino Rossi's retired. Would he consider doing it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And then, uh, you know, you got the open option of Formula One. Formula One, they got a pretty, pretty full schedule. Uh, but, you know, you look at the opening on their schedule, look at August. August is their summer break where they take off. They don't do any races until the 28th, 29th, whatever that Sunday is, the last Sunday of August. August 21st, 22nd, that's Watkins Glen. That's a road course. Someone like Daniel Ricciardo, who has shown interest in NASCAR before, could he jump in that car? 
Um, something I listened to the other day, Max Verstappen, the reigning world champion, currently leading the standings in Formula One. You know, he said that he wanted to try different forms of motorsport outside of Formula One, but he didn't want to do it when he's late in his career, kind of out of his prime and old and stuff. He wants to be competitive. He wants to do it in his prime, the strongest part of his career. He's, what, 24, 25 years old right now, so, and he's got a world championship under his belt. He's got four wins out of six races this season. Could he potentially come over here? Could he jump in a car? I don't know. He hasn't, you know... He's done, like, iRacing NASCAR, but he hasn't done, like, you know, expressed huge interest. And we've seen driver swaps before between NASCAR and Formula One. 2003, it was Jeff Gordon and Juan Pablo Montoya. 2011, 2012, it was Lewis Hamilton and Tony Stewart. So Lewis Hamilton, if he wanted to potentially come on over, this would be an option for him. Um, and the most recent one was Fernando Alonso and Jimmy Johnson. Fernando Alonso also... Uh, an active Formula One driver. So, uh, yeah, I don't know who is going to express interest. I don't know who this first driver is going to be. I don't know where they're going to come from. I don't know if it's going to come from rally, maybe. I don't. That would be quite the option, uh, getting a rally driver. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a Formula One driver, an IndyCar driver, a uh, potentially endurance driver. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see who it is. Could it be a retired driver, someone who hasn't raced in a bit, you know, uh, or maybe someone like Kimi Raikkonen, Kimi, he raced in NASCAR 10 years ago for like two races. He needs a new hobby, his hobby of formula one. He's done with what if he does a one off NASCAR race? I don't know. Uh, what if a retired NASCAR driver does it? What if Jeff Gordon comes back? All right. I'm not going to get my hopes up for that, but if Jeff Gordon comes back, I will literally like walk to the race. If I have to, I will be that desperate to get there. Uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know who's going to be in this car. I don't know what's going to happen with this car, but Trackhouse Racing, once again, showing that they are maybe the team of the future in NASCAR. Uh, obviously, they have had a ton of hype behind them, a ton of excitement, but the passion and the dedication from Justin Marks has been extremely impressive. He used to be a driver. Uh, he won a couple races in the Xfinity Series, but... He has invested so much into this team, and so far it is paying off as we've seen this year with Chastain winning a couple races, Suarez being competitive, and they are not here to just sit around and drive in circles and you know watch other people win. Justin Marks wants to win. Pitbull wants to win. These guys are in the Cup Series to win, and very, very quickly they have shown that they're here to win, and they have proven that they can win. They got a championship favorite right now with Chastain. I mean, Trackhouse is one of the teams of the future. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this. Really excited to see who they indeed put in the car. Will it be Daniel Ricciardo? I don't know. Will it be? This isn't a Max Verstappen. Will it be Max Verstappen? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I don't have any IndyCar hats, but, you know, Will it be, uh, heck, uh, Scott Dixon? Scott Dixon, invisible hat. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Yeah, it's exciting news, but, uh, as for the Texas vlog, I'm gonna do that tomorrow now. It's just, you know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that tomorrow instead. I don't want to post two in one day, two videos in one day, so this will be today, tomorrow. I'll get it out regardless if there's, like, news tomorrow. I'll do two tomorrow if necessary, but... Yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. We talk about NASCAR all the time on here. We talk about Formula One on here. Uh, we talk a lot about racing. This weekend's one of the biggest weekends in motorsports, so we'll see how that goes. Rooting for Jimmy Johnson in the Indy 500. Uh, Cup Series on Sunday night, Monaco, Sunday morning in the U.S., so I'm looking forward to it. But this international car or this international driving car, I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be exciting.